What's going on, everybody? Tony here. Lisa is here, but she's getting dressed and told me I'm not allowed to go in there because she don't want you to see nothing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're back at it. This is episode two. Um, we have kind of somewhat of a busy day today. My sister is here in Florida with her family. She's been here for about a week, I'll just say. And uh, she leaves on Saturday, and we're going to go meet up with her at breakfast. Yay, breakfast. Um, you know, to kind of say goodbyes and kind of check it out. We love this place we go to, and I promise you it's a lot better than that last place I showed you on episode one. Um, after that, we have a baby appointment. Nothing, it's nothing crazy, right, Lisa? What? The baby appointment? What's it? It's nothing like major, right? Oh, uh, it's just a quick in and out, I guess, just to see what's happening and everything is going to be okay, I guess. And uh, yeah, so we'll let, keep you updated on that. And plus, it is Black Widow Day, so we are going to watch that and give our take on it, I'll give you a little review, kind of what we think, and I promise you, no spoilers. Happy belated so Lisa is saying happy belated Father's Day because she's going through some mail right now. And she's going like, through the baby shower cards to get all the gift cards out. Yeah, to get all the gift cards out from the baby shower. And she's like, why would somebody give me a Starbucks card for the baby shower or for the baby? And she's like, oh, I realized it's a happy Father's Day card. So I got a happy belated Father's Day card. Uh <laughs> So, yay, Starbucks. <laughs> a little late, but we appreciate the well, Starbucks. I mean, I got it Father's Day, the weekend before Father's Day. I then just forgot that I had it to give to you. Sweet. Ah, Egg City. This place is amazing. Breakfast is huge. Well, you'll see all about it. This place is awesome. It's filled with like Elvis and Marilyn Monroe memorabilia. And this is like the only diner in Florida that I've been to so far that actually kind of resembles that 50s look, which I love. See, look how huge it is. I need ketchup. We got the same thing. Well, I didn't get your American cheese. Nah, I have to get it with American because I don't like cheddar cheese. We are back home. Sorry I didn't film as much at the breakfast like I wanted to, but when you have family all around, and especially like your sister that you haven't seen in a little bit, and she's down here on vacay and leaving tomorrow, you, you kind of get caught up with all of that, the talking and everything, especially with the nieces and nephews. So we are home, sorry about that, but we got a new package. Another package to add to our more boxes in the house uh this is from i think your aunt in so many words and so she, in so many words in so many ways it's my cousin's aunt technically not my aunt but close enough that we might as well be my aunt okay well it does have a rope i got tape on me it's a bag oh the bag the rope too or what? see it's rope too it's a tote. Oh, this is going to be like bag. beach stuff. Yeah, Let's see. We live in Florida. It's random stuff. So we got floaties. Floaties. Who doesn't love floaties? Oh, look at the tube. The inner tube's amazing. Inner tube shovel. So when she goes to visit Uncle Zach and Aunt Cole, yeah. we'll take this up. Because they have a beach. I mean, it's not like we live far from a beach. No, we don't live far we from the beach at all. We could just go to another beach. We could. It's like but oh, we don't. random. Uh, Mermaid off duty. Oh, isn't that precious? Of course the baby's kicking. She's happy. She's getting stuff. She and knows. She just ate. Oh, and she just ate, yeah. Oh, it's a flamingo. <laughs> little flamingo dress. That's amazing. It is. Oh, for 12 months. Oh, we got little. Oh, I'm 
and she'll have two pairs of water shoes. Water now. shoes. Now look at the mini. No Daisy. Well, actually, I think I'll have to look. I think these might uh, be a different size than the ones that she got. She's, she's got her own little Disney purse and sunglasses. No, it's the sunglass case. I thought it was like a little change purse. No, you put the sunglasses in there to protect them. Yeah, but that could still be used as a change purse. Shut up. I'm just saying. But, no, I think these are a bigger size than the one Finley gave her, so she'll have, she'll be good with water shoes. Oh, that's true. Oh, we got... Oh, well, but why are you flipping through stuff? There's stuff we gotta open. And there's a card. Aren't we supposed to open that first? Well, it wasn't on top. <laughs> Way to go. Sorry. There's a little boat. Hold on. I love how Lisa gets so excited about I this stuff. I get excited about hats. Why? Because they don't fit you? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and you wish they could? Lisa's yeah. head is weird and she doesn't look good in hats. I have a small head, so I tend to fit in kids' hats. <laughs> not this little. Oh, let's say that little? No, not that little. Oh, another hat! <laughs> you might be able to fit in that one. Uh, like a cat? Maybe it's, it's a got. Fish. It's a fish. A catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Another hat? No, it's not another hat. But it looks like maybe another mini. Oh, there is a hat! <laughs> I lied. The hat. It's got. Ears. It's a little mini outfit, you know. It's cute. It says, well, the hat. <laughs> it says adorable. Oh, a mermaid. A mermaid hat? It's a bathing suit. Little mermaid and one. It's sparkly. <laughs> it's sparkly. What's the size? 18 months. So not right away. Well, no. That's okay. You'll fit in it later on. Better not be right away. I ain't giving birth to a 12 pounder. <laughs> well, I was 10, just about. You were 9'15. Yeah. I was 9'9. Nine nine. So it's possible. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, I think this is all just wrapping. Okay. So a lot of stuff for oh, baby. Thank you. A lot of beachy stuff. Beachy stuff. She's all set to visit Uncle Zach and Aunt Cole. Yes. Lisa's back from the baby appointment. So what's going on? What do we have to register for? Um, It's time to pre-register for delivery day. Well, what are we pre-registering for? The hospital. Oh. I guess it's all done online. We can schedule a tour of baby place, which I guess is the birthing center. I would guess so. That makes sense. Um, we're what? a little late on the parent education class. I was just about to ask classes. Um, they <laughs> claim well, the best time to attend classes is between the 28th and 32nd week. And I'm 32 weeks right now. And she also told me, the doctor said that she's pretty sure they're still all online at this point because of COVID. Okay. Yeah, that was my next question. So if, if they were even doing the case, that in person. I mean, we could easily just do them here at home. And she told me it was time to select a pediatrician, but did that this morning. That's right. Secured the pediatrician. Lisa is on it. All right. Is newborn there... supplies. During your stay with us, we provide all necessary newborn supplies, such as diapers, wipes, and baby clothing. Please bring an outfit and blanket for your baby's ride home. I got that picked out. We'll have the outfit picked out. We got... We have plenty of blankets, so we'll just grab yeah, one of them. grab one of them. We got some Winnie the Pooh ones and whatnot. Obviously, we have to complete the birth certificate before we leave the hospital. Um... There's a daily lactation consultant that will come around to assist with breastfeeding. Um, they offer infant photography. Interesting. Infant photography is available after birth. Please feel free to bring any hats, outfits, or props that you would like your baby photographed in. Visit mybabyfaceportraits.com to view the gallery and package options. So it's not free, 
I'm already paying you to have my baby there. <laughs> yeah. Driving baby home, obviously have the car seat properly installed in the back seat before checking out of the hospital. Oh, visiting hours. I wonder if this has been updated, though. Um, Probably isn't an update. An adult other than the patient must accompany all children. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this doesn't really say anything. I don't think they've updated it. I think it's still just the two. Yeah, because our hospital hasn't updated. And there's a birth experience team, chaplain services, and concierge services. And all the extra boring stuff. Yeah. We are here, Snapolis, the IMAX theater. Getting ready to watch that good old Black Widow. I'm really excited about it, actually. I hope it's good. And I'm also curious because, well, since COVID and all the movie theaters, like everything else, were shut down, everybody went into streaming. And yes, I could have streamed this on Disney Plus for 30 bucks, but we wanted to go to a movie theater. We wanted to go to a big projector screen and hear good sound. So I'm curious to see also how busy the theater is, like when we watch the movie. So we're gonna check that out to see if people have just gone the streaming route and that's it. I love how they redesigned this movie theater. It looks fantastic in here. The bar looks amazing. Everything looks great. I need to get one of these for the house. These moving pictures, these frames. Actually, I can make this myself. And actually, all they use is old TV screens and flip them this way. And that's it. So they use old monitors. I have like two extra TVs I don't use, so maybe I'll put them up in the house. I don't know. Back home from the movies. Um, it was a very good movie. Yes. Very good movie. Um, I, I said I wasn't going to spoil anything, so I'm not going to, but I feel like a little backstory is okay. A little bit. That's not spoiling. So where this movie takes place in the Marvel Universe timeline order, it is directly, like, it seems like a day or two. Right after Civil War. Right after Civil War. So if you were watching these movies in order, that's where I would place it. However, when I was talking about I that with Lisa. I brought up yeah. that, like, you know how at the end of every Marvel movie, there's, like, a scene at the end of the credits. And it usually, like with all these other ones, would lead up to the next movie in the timeline. Not necessarily the next like movie or whatever that would be being made. Then, but, so yes, this movie falls in right after Civil War. But the scene at the end credits is, present is day. right after Endgame. So, we don't know how long after Endgame. Well, yeah, but, but it's after Endgame. It's after Endgame, which then, if you watch that credit, it'll spoil it the last, spoil like, like, seven movies. <laughs> yes. It, yeah, if you haven't watched them already. If you haven't watched them. But if you have watched it, then it, it's okay, you know. So it's kind of a little tricky, in a sense. Um, very good. The cast was great that was in it. Yeah. Um, we all know that you get to see, uh, uh, well, we saw in previews and you guys did as well. Um, you know that, uh, you see Natasha's sister. Uh, she was great. Oh, I yeah. thought she was hilarious. She had comic, comical sides. Comical, uh, but serious at the same time. I like... thought she was fantastic. Um, yeah, I I, I'm tr I don't want to spoil anything, so I don't want to, like, say anything. So maybe I should just it's stop talking. Uh, if I had to put a grade on it, like, if I was grading this movie, I would give it a B-. minus. There were some meh moments in the movie, but I thought the movie was needed. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like the filler, filling in these gaps, like, what they were up to. Like, that's kind of well, what like these said, Marvel shows are up to. You do get a backstory. Yes. 
which, you know, every, yeah, you get a backstory, a little filler of what she was up to while on the run. Well, and, like, prior to becoming an Avenger. Yes, there there you is know, you prior. You get the backstory of that. Yeah, I'd give it a B minus, though. Really? Only a B minus? I would. I For me. I like Black Widow, though. Black, I love Black Widow. Um, I, I would feel a B minus. However, I was disappointed in one A-. thing. You give it an A minus? Was that good for you? It was good. I like it. I just don't know if I'd give it an A. Oh, However, picky. Oh, I will say, though, since the credit, for those who have watched the movies and you watch the credit, um, I was... like just finishing Falcon and the Winter Soldier. W- yes, you have to... For the end credit scene. You have to watch Falcon and Winter Soldier. All right, because I did not expect that end credit, and it made sense. Oh, but it's so good. That last, like, 10 seconds were perfect, and that's all I can say. (laughs) I want to tell you, but I can't. Um, It was great. It was great. (laughs) That's all I can say. I was really like, hey, that's so-and-so, and, you know, because at first I didn't think that. At first Until, I thought it was her mom. I thought, well, like, yeah, I thought it was her mom, and then I was like, "Wait a minute, no, that voice is something else." And I was like, I looked at Lisa. I was like, "That's you know what you know blah blah yeah. blah." And I and we just that's all we talked about. Like seriously, that the last ten home. seconds was talked about the whole ride home. <laughs> just that last ten seconds of uh, the credits. I don't know. That's all I can say. She gives it an A minus. I give it a B minus. Go see it. Um, For those, like we said, uh, if you haven't watched the movies and you're watching this in an order, uh, don't watch the end credits. Don't watch the end credit till after Endgame or else you're going to, like we heard some people behind us go, wait, what? No, 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 no. Yeah, some people didn't even see the Endgame movie. Like they hadn't watched it. So the end credit scene kind of like, was a shocker a shock to them but like it wasn't a shocker to us because we've already seen it so we know what happens um and for those who've seen the marvel movies if you watch the credit you have to watch winter uh, falcon and the winter soldier first you have to watch that first because it goes in like it after fits the, in with it <laughs> it fits in it plays in it plays well it's a great movie Go watch it. Um, that's it. That's all I can say. So this is she liked the it. yes, baby liked it. She was kicking throughout the whole thing. She likes Natasha. I like Natasha. Um, yeah, I. Uh, oh, movie theater experience. Um, it was good. Yeah, I, it wasn't as cold as what I remember theaters <laughs> being. I took a blanket with. I never used it. Um, <laughs> How busy it was in the theater we were in. The For room. like an opening night movie, it was not full at all. I'd say I not even, say even half. half. Not no. even half. I'd say if I had to put a number on it, maybe like 20 some people. If I had to put a number yeah. on it. And the majority of us had all reserved seats in the same section. Because, you know, you want to be yeah. up. And I was a little disappointed because... <laughs> not with the movie. Not with but... the movie, but sound quality and i was like He's man like, <laughs> my speakers are so much better than a movie theater like you i can also, feel the, the rumble speakers here they're literally right in front of you here at home i don't care i can i can feel the rumble and i'm like man the sound is just not what i remember when you start building your own home theater you're like you're like disappointed when you go to the movie theater so i don't know if i'm actually going to go to it the movie did not theater miss anymore the concession stand prices oh yeah god oh, i mean god. it was nice having movie theater popcorn again but i think from now on the price i don't a little cuckoo yeah i i don't think i'm i think i'm just gonna stream movies like that if i want to see them because we already stream we don't we don't have cable anymore or we cut the cord to that so everything's streaming so if I really wanted to watch Black Widow, I would have just I would have just paid the thirty off. bucks um, because I'm getting 
You know, I I'm sitting on my own comfy couch. I can be in my pajamas. If anything, we could go buy popcorn. Yeah, you know, if we got to do bathroom breaks, I can hit pause, you know. I made it through um, the whole movie without having to get up. But at towards the end, I was like, I really have to pee. But because I have of a the feeling baby. like we're like right at the end. Yeah. <laughs> and I get better speaker quality, you know, at least with my setup, our setup. And let's face it, it would have probably been cheaper to watch it here at home. Well, yeah, because it would only been 30 bucks. Because between tickets and then popcorn almost, and our drinks. Almost 50 bucks. Yeah. It was, yeah, because yeah, it was like 22 for the tickets. And then it was like 23 for yeah, the Yeah, 23. Pop, so about, large popcorn and two. About 45 three. bucks. We'll say 50 bucks for two people. My God. Yeah. So that's our review without saying anything. Um, Without saying anything. We'll see you next time, guys, for the next home video. Vlog. Bye-bye.